Mr. Bond. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. There is nothing you can talk to me about that I don't already know. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. This is Khan Ulrich coming to you with another episode of Evil Genius. Uh, when last we separated from each other, it was a very sad affair. Um, we actually had a, a rather uh, interesting break in. A number of uh, agents of good were trying to get inside and steal things from me and, you know, see what they could see and all that kind of good stuff. Well, they're not going to get a chance to do that now, are they? One second, we turn this down a little bit. Sorry, a little bit more. Alright. So, I decided to make this man pay for his uh, tenacity and audacity in actually coming in to check my entire mission and area. Let's say uh, entire enterprise. By the way, not criminal enterprise. No, no. That is far from that. Come on, let's go. Alright. Meantime, I'm actually going to check in here. So we get a nice, a pretty penny every 60 seconds. Uh, I really need to get some more people going to my base here. Come on, guys. You know what? I hate to spend the money on this, but I pretty much have to. Object has been ordered. You know what, there's like the tech training area. Um, you'll discover that you need to have more, many, many more of the low-level guys and you need to have the upper-level guys. And what we've got here is a, a new way of interrogating individuals. Kind of cute, a little bit funny. Unless you're, of course, the uh, man inside. I don't want to go. Alright, you're going, son. I realize it's probably not the most polite thing to do some to somebody, but you know what? Oh well. All right. Uh, ah, okay. Next thing on the list: build an inner sanctum. Normally, I like to put my inner sanctum outside of the power room, outside of the strong room, kind of thing. But that doesn't seem to be the case this particular go around. So, actually, you know what? I tried this instead. So this is a area in which we get all of our money. And uh, equipment for that matter. Oops. Eh, so you know what? We're gonna build a short corridor. And because I'm a little tired of trying to deal with the forces of, of you know, the do-gooders, I am going to try to get traps to work. Now, what traps are is a way for you to either get money or to feel really, really frustrated at the end of the day. Alrighty then. So, right now we seem to have things relatively under control, right? I think so. So I think what I'm going to do in the meantime is... Spend my power plant a little bit more. And soon I'm just going to start throwing tons and tons of men into all the areas in which I can get a lot of money. Right now, by the way, we see someone who is actually not feeling too attentive. Um, thankfully, there really isn't a whole lot of uh, really bad stuff that happens necessarily when there's no attentiveness, but I really get kind of ticked off when it goes on. 
Because frankly, I expect better from my minions. Um, I have to say, this game probably has some of the best music for any video game ever. Any computer game, any, any anything really. I kind of love the smooth jazz you have going on with that. In the meantime, our numbers are finally growing a little bit more. Ah, we have five guards, alright, cool. I think it's time to start throwing some of our men into other areas. And also, kind of kicking this up a notch. <laughs> See, I would really love to give you guys $4,000 and have a new minion every second and recruit a new worker every second. But it's just a teensy bit too expensive for the time being. Actually, no, I can't even do that anyway because this is what's holding them back. Silly me. Maybe what I'll try is... The Three, four. So there's nine right here, minus that, so we get six more. There you go, guys. I have sacrificed my economy for you guys. No, no. I was happy to do it, more or less. Now, ideally, which there should start happening. Well, once this thing is built. Jeez. Jeez, guys, what do you like? Come on. Ah, okay. The nice thing about Valet's social minions is that after they bamboozle the opposition, they are nice enough to escort them back outside. For sweethearts like that, really, they are. Alright, so we're getting some more money. Um, as you guys will kind of figure, we're going to start attracting more and more attention from uh, the do gooders that they are. Uh, which is going to be a little irritating. But it'll pay off, I promise. That would be really ideal. if our traps actually really started working. Like so. It's not particularly the case, we can keep people away from us. Unfortunately, these particular traps are not lethal in and of themselves, more like delaying tactics. And trust me, as sure as you're born, it will not go well in the long term if you just depend on those. Um, I hear you guys ask you a question, why am I putting more military minions out in the field? Alright, in the field, military minions have really two purposes. Um, they can kind of, they can steal more than other people. Um, and they also periodically kind of start taking hits for other individuals as well. Um, I might actually start sticking a science minion or two just around, you know, in areas that really are not too, many con not too much concern. And I have to start plotting. And eventually we start uncovering some nefarious deeds to do later on. Though right now I understand that it's going to be a little bit difficult for us to do that. I wonder if I just again, like I did before, or tried to do before. Just make an area for lockers right over here. Another five lockers right there, you think? gods of the game will be happy with me again. One, two, three, four. 
Six, six pegs ought to be enough, you think, really? Hmm. I think so. Object will be moved shortly. And you know what this now means? I can add more lockers over here. Warning! Placing this object here renders another object inaccessible. Lies. I took care of that. It's like another two. You know, I mean, it doesn't doesn't sound like much, but at the same time, it'll start to add up. Jeez, guys. All right. See, this is the problem already. Is that inevitably the traps are more lethal to you than the opposition. It ends up being a real pain in the rear end to deal with. All right. Unfortunately, now the forces of good are showing up to cause you some problems. Some couple workers here. Um, it's worth noting that after you have your troops on hiding, as soon as the good guys leave, at that point you will have the opportunity to just automatically start stealing money again. Object has been ordered. I deserve a big, a big inner sanctum. I know some people might think. Some people might think that I'm overdoing it just a little bit. Object purchase order confirmed. But you know what? I deserve it. Being Object an evil genius is not an easy task. It is definitely an all-day affair. Object purchase order confirmed. I'm trying to impress people here, by the way. Not just you know. Pathetic little shank. Room construction underway. Room construction unpaused. All right, guys, let's focus Room right now. On hold. Let's focus right now and actually. Minion capacity exceeded. Keeping our base under control. What I'd really love at some point in the near future is to start building. start building um, a hotel out here. And what a hotel does is a hotel keeps all these stupid tourists out of the way. It keeps them distracted doing other things instead. Alright, cool. Now, what we're going to do is we have something called the archives. And the archives are going to help us keep our guys a little bit more intelligent, which, um, in an evil genius's repertoire is a little bit difficult, I'm sure you understand. You know, and I really, really want to spend the money on actually making my inner sanctum already, but I just can't bring myself to do it. a lot more cash first. If the forces of justice are causing you trouble, why not create some devious traps to deal with them? Remember, you'll need to link your traps to sensors or they'll never get triggered. Yeah. So that's a problem. Um, I'm just going to give a quick look at the traps that I have so far. So I have a... <laughs> I have a cut-up trap... a pop-up trap, rather. That if um, the forces of good run into it. Like, oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on here. And they, as far as I understand it, they actually will shoot at it instead of actually doing anything you know, uh, intelligent. Which is kind of a problem from one angle. These guys going home? No, they're not. Alright. At some point, when uh, the mission ends for the, all these particular individuals, there's some kind of interesting ways of going home. Um, some will paraglide off the island, some other ones will take a chopper in. I mean, like, it depends on which group comes in to see you and say hi. I'm not sure why this is... This is stuck. Oh, okay. Now, who's taking care of it? 
Awesome. Cool. I'm getting a fair amount of money coming in. Only a little bit. Okay, so see how we've already started actually bringing up other missions instead. This is a little more risky, so we're not going to take care of that just yet. But we're just kind of opening up the map and bringing things out for us as we kind of go forward. All right, still in the two minutes to go. All right, guys, I keep saying you want to keep this down to like some digestible chunks. So for the time being, I think we'll probably keep this about 20 minutes or so. Take about like another five before we really have to worry about anything. Alright, I'm going to note also that when you psychologically weaken someone, they lose all their attention or all their smarts. It actually makes it much easier to capture. Which is quite convenient considering how often you tend to start losing minions. So for example, oh, there we go. He's already brought in here. And already we have issues with these particular traps. Maybe what I should do is make traps in this hallway instead. But at the same time, with such high traffic, um, my own guys actually will... Uh, they'll, they'll not be very effective in doing their own duties. Anything new and exciting? Like really kind of fun? No, not really? All right, guess not. Once I can afford even another smaller... Eh, I guess I'm doing this after all. Um, I was going to not do that whole barracks behind thing, but I think I'll do that just so I can kind of uh, utilize the space a little Pacific more. Pacific Radio! This is Pacific FM, and I'm Larry Driscoll, keeping you up to date with regional events from California all the way up to Alaska. The story on everyone's lips today is the big felony committed earlier. No one knows who's responsible yet, but everyone's got a theory. Isn't that right, Bill? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Even the penguins in Alaska got a theory, Larry. Penguins are from the South Pole, Bill. Damn it, Larry. Why do you always show me up on air? <laughs> um, those guys are kind of idiots for the North American, let's say, uh, everything, really. Eh, but I guess you don't hold it against them. Who's assigned to the task? Who's assigned to the task? Hey, you know what? You know what I need to do? I need to actually put a handgun cabinet in here, I think. Because, you, darn it, you know what? My troops believe in the Second Amendment. If the Second Amendment had a secret island getaway, I imagine. Because I'm sure they would, I mean, if that's actually the case. Ah, look we see here. We have somebody new parachopping into the island. This, ladies and gentlemen, is how spies go into work. Kind of a pain in the rear end, really, sometimes, but you know what? I don't really hold it against them. Cool. So those two guys are done. I'm going to see if there's anything else we can throw them into while they're still out and about. That's for a maid. That's for a technician. Alright, another thing to note. Um, is that science minions lower the amount of time it takes to do missions. Um, I can't give you the exact figures of how that works out, the numbers, that is. Suffice to say, um, they do make things a little easier for your forces. Minions, on the other hand, um, as you go through a mission, you start to gain more and more heat and actually starts causing casualties. Social social minions, as far as I understand it, kind of act as buffers between everything. So military men take losses for you in the missions, but at the same time, social minions conceal the heat, so that way you don't have to really worry about things. Road construction unpaused. But right now, we're actually in pretty good shape. Capacitors, by the way, allow you to keep your base running 
as opposed to losing out on things like power. Um, and basically that's going to be our tactic for handling a lot of agents in the early game, is just weaken them. Because I definitely don't want to build a massive freezer to deal with it. Cool. Alright, so we'll be able to soon rid ourselves of this maggot who languishes in our cell. And I guess from a certain purse, um first standpoint, I'm just kind of interested to see that happen. There we go. And here's the duty. So it does give you a body bag, which is a little bit kind of a drain of resources and like loyalty and, you know, attention and things like that. Eh, but you know what? I think it's worth all of it. Uh, soon, nothing to the build. Room is where minions go. Nothing to build. Uh, rooms. It's the archives. So, uh, you can actually help out their smarts. Um, you can also... I don't know. It's, it's, you can use the bookshelves actually to interrogate, which is something that's definitely awesome to watch. Um, so I think we might build that soon enough. Just see if... Where is it? Ah, there we go. So I can show you this. So, um... These are all the people who are looking for you in terms of the forces of good. These people just look literally for uh, bad things to take pictures of and report on. These guys are all about stealing. These guys are all about blowing things up. And there's another small group that we have to deal with, and that would be those who are there for uh, shooting and killing. Um, that strictly means soldiers and things like that, and uh, God willing, we won't see that too often. At least not in this, at least not in this early game. this one right here? Is this... Yeah, it's obliterating Asheville. <laughs> but alright, while our forces are hiding and kind of being safe, uh, I'm going to save this game for the time being. When we return, uh, we're going to be dealing with probably... Ah, shoot. I just loaded this game. So, we're going to be seeing where this actually this game drops us out. <laughs> Can't believe I'm doing that. So we're going to save the game for the time being, and when we get back, we'll see how uh, all of our operations are going to go in the near future. So, until next time, this is Con Ulrich, signing off. <laughs>